YouTube, 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 it is official. I am back. All right. Back with the hit training. We have some gym exercises coming a lot in stores. I'm going to be doing some step by step tutorials as far as food. I know I get a lot of requests with that. And anything else you want to see, leave them in the comments. All right. I'm going to be here at least once to twice a week. Now, if you are looking for more structure, all right, my app has launched. I'm super excited about it. On this app, you're going to find loads of workouts. You're going to find loads of my go to meals. All right. Not only are you going to find my go to meals, but you're going to have a structured meal plan just for you. All right. We're going to be counting your macros, counting your reps and sets, and it's all available for $19.99 a month. Yeah, $19.99 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. So yeah, definitely check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Now, as of today, uh, there are no HIIT training workouts. All right. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but we are uploading HIIT training workouts to the app. All right. So don't miss that. In the next update, it's going to be on there. I'll give you guys a full breakdown on what the app comes with in the next video to come. Um, but I'm super excited about it, man. I love each and every one of you guys. Follow this workout. I want to see how far you can make it. All right. We have a total body workout. We're going to be doing upper and lower. For the upper body, it's going to be a shoulder focused upper body workout. A little bit of triceps and abs. All right. And for the lower body, we're killing the quads. We're killing the hamstrings and the glutes. All right. So make sure you tap in with this one. And I need you guys finishing just as strong as you start. All right. Don't start hard and just quit in the middle of the video. All right. Don't look at the video and not do it. And say you're going to do it later and not do it. No, put your phone down right now set it up on your tv your laptop whatever it is and let's get busy all right let's go all right so first up all right we have a warm-up all right so for the warm-up we have 30 seconds of arm circles 30 seconds of lateral raises 30 seconds of squats and 30 seconds of scoops all right we're gonna do those consecutively no rest between so it's gonna be two minutes in total we're gonna do it twice all right so the warm-up is gonna be four minutes all together all right let's get to it
All right, so from here, we're gonna do a one minute rest, 60 seconds off, grab your water, get ready, because this one will not be nice. All right. All right, finish up your water breaks. Next, all right, so we have single into double shoulder presses. All right, for number one, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds on, and then we have 30 seconds off. The next exercise is gonna be goblet squats with the press, all right? 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. The third one is gonna be RDLs, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And last but not least, we have plank reaches, all right, for the core. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Once we complete all four, we'll be taking a minute off. You got a minute off from here. And we're gonna do another round of the same exercises. All right, let's get to it.
First round is complete. All right, y'all hanging in. We have two more rounds similar to that. Grab your water, stick a minute off, and get ready. All right, so station number two, we're gonna go with number one for lunge jumps. All right, again, we have 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. Number one is gonna be lunge jumps. All right, it's gonna be tough, but fight through. All right, number two, we have push ups, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Number three, we have side lunges. All right, and number four, last but not least, we have front raises. Okay, we have 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. After you complete all four exercises, you're gonna take a minute rest. So we're gonna do round two. Then we're gonna go into station number three. Let's get to it. Sorry about that one. That round was rough right there. But what you could do is for the front raises, you shouldn't be squatting or you shouldn't be pressing the same weight you're doing front raises with. So if you can get a second set of dumbbells and go lighter. All right, so if you're doing, take off my headphones. So if you have 20 pounds on the presses, you need to have at least like 15 to 10 pounds 
on the raises. Me personally, I'm using 35s, but if I had 20s out here, I would've used those for the raises instead of the 35s. So keep that in mind for the next round or the next time you do this workout. Boom, getting into round three, it's gonna be the final round. You have to finish stronger than you started. I already said it enough. Get into it. The first one, we have jump squats. All right, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Nothing's changing. Second one, we have lateral raises. Okay, for the third exercise, we have upright rows with the dumbbells. The fourth exercise, we have sit-ups. Then we have a minute off. We're gonna do that again, then we'll be finished. We're gonna get into the cool down first because we never just stop. But we'll be done after this station. Let's get to it.
Oh. Ah. Finally finished. All right. Let me turn this off. We have finally finished. Congratulations, you made it through. All right. You finished stronger than you started because I know you took my advice. But anyways, getting straight to it. We're not done completely. Don't go anywhere. What we have next is the quarter. All right. And the cooldowns are important for recovery. You know, a lot of people, oh man, when I train, I can't train for at least three to four days after that. Well, you're killing the gains. The goal is to be in the gym the next day. All right. Maybe it's cool to take a rest day, two rest days a week, but no more than that. This has to be a lifestyle. Anyway, getting to it. You want to make sure that you are recovering instantly. All right. So the best way to get the best recovery right after your workouts is number one to cool down. Now you want to cool down for at least 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to give you a couple exercises right after this, after we rest for one minute. Number two is going to be eating. You want to eat directly after your workout. No more than 45 minutes. It's like refueling that Ferrari tank. All right. You don't just kill the Ferrari tank or you don't even kill your Toyota tank. Right. And not fill it up right after. If you like your car, if you're on E, you're not just rolling on E for miles and miles and miles. You're refueling the tank instantly. So make sure that is exactly what you're doing. Now getting straight to it for the cool down. We have 30 seconds on and we're going to go straight to the next exercise, cool down, whatever you want to call it. All right. So number one, we have toe touches. Number two, we have scoops. And number three, we have arm circles. Very, very light. We're going to go 30 seconds a piece and we're going to do two different rounds. We only have three minutes. All right. If you want to do more cool downs after this, you can do some stretches, stretch the hamstrings, the shoulders, you know, some arm stretches, circles, whatever you want to do. But these three exercises, make sure you do. All right. Complete them before you just go, because this is going to help you for your workout tomorrow.